Hello children. How are you all? Hope everybody is safe at home. Today we shall start the first topic, Standard 10, Mathematics Part 1, Linear Equations in Two Variables. You already have an idea. An equation having two variables with degree 1 is called as linear equation in two variables. For example, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 is a linear equation in two variables x and y. You see the degree of the terms containing the variable 2x degree is 1, 3y degree is 1. Also see the general form of this equation. It is written as ax plus by is equal to c. Or it can also be written as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b, c are the real numbers and a and b is not equal to 0. Neither a nor b. Or else it will become an equation in one variable. Something like that way. Now, what are simultaneous linear equations? If we take two linear equations in two variables say a and b together, then they are known as simultaneous linear equations as they may get satisfied with the same set of values of variables. In this video, we shall discuss about the method of solving simultaneous equations by Elimination method. In elimination by equating the coefficients. That is we shall think of removing one of the variable by equating its coefficient. So just let us solve, try to solve this question only. 3a plus 5b is equal to 26. Number it as equation 1. a plus 5b is equal to 22. Number is that equation 2. Look at the coefficients of a, 3 and 1. Whereas coefficients of b, they are equal. So it will be very easy to eliminate b from these equations. So what shall we do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Rewrite them 3a plus 5b is equal to 26. a plus 5b is equal to 22. Now as we are subtracting the equation, second is subtracted. So change the, we you know how to subtract the algebraic expression. So the second one which are to be subtracted, we change all the signs. So here a, no sign means plus sign. So you will make it minus. This plus sign will also become minus. No sign again. So you will consider it as positive which becomes negative. Now work out. 3a minus a that is 2a. Plus minus 5b gets cancelled. Eliminated. 26 minus 22, 4. That gives you a is equal to 4 upon 2. Therefore, a is equal to 2. Value of one variable is found. Now, how to get the value of the other variable? For this, substitute this value a is equal to 2 in any one equation. Say in equation I will take 1. Equation 1 is 3a plus 5b is equal to 26. So 3 in place of a you write 2 plus 5b is equal to 26. 6 plus 5b, 26. 
सो फाइव बी इज इक्वल टू ट्रांसपोजिंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस सिक्स ट्वेंटी बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी अपॉन फाइव सो बी इज इक्वल टू फोर दस बी ए फाउंड ए इज इक्वल टू टू बी इज इक्वल टू फोर दिस इज द सोल्यूशन और यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट एज अ ऑर्डर पे फॉर्म सोल्यूशन सेट कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू टू कॉमा फोर लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवन फर्स्ट स्टेप नंबर द इक्वेशन्स Now observe the coefficient one and three, seven and minus two. Either you can equate the coefficient of x. For in that case, what you will have to do equation one, you will have to multiply by three. Or you can make uh, of y also. I will select here to make e uh, coefficients of y the same. So for that, what I have to do is equation one. The coefficient of y is seven. And of two, it is minus two. So I shall multiply equation one by two. Remember, not minus two because this is going to help me. Now, when the uh, coefficients are made equal, I have to just add the two equation. I don't have to subtract and also equation one. Full equation. You are going to multiply by two. And equation two. Multiply by seven. Care is to be taken that we can we have to multiply either sides of this equation by two. Okay. So and you know that if both sides of an equation are multiplied, divided by the same number, or added or subtracted by the same number, the equation does not change. This is the basic rule. Multiplying it by two, you get two x plus fourteen y. Is equal to twenty, and here seven three is a twenty one x minus fourteen y is equal to forty nine. Let this be our equation three and four. Again. You want to eliminate thus. You are going to add these two equations. So, adding the two equations, what will you get? We are adding equation three and four. Twenty-one plus two, you get twenty-three x. Plus minus fourteen y gets cancelled. Is equal to sixty nine. Thus, x is equal to sixty nine upon twenty three. Three times, you get x is equal to three. Now. Select any one equation. Now you have got four equations. Do not go for equation three and four. In order to simplify, work, we shall go either for one and two. By default, we go for normal equation one only. So, put the value of x. That is, x is equal to three in equation one. What is equation one? X plus seven y is equal to ten. That is. Three plus seven y equals ten. Therefore, seven y equals ten minus three. Seven y is equal to seven. Thus, y is equal to seven divided by seven. That is one. Y is equal to one. Therefore, what is our solution? X is equal to three, and 
y is equal to 1. Let's see one more question. 1 upon 3x plus y is equal to 10 upon 3. Second equation. 2x plus 1 upon 4y is equal to 11 upon 4. Here also you can check out the coefficient of x is 1 upon 3 and of in another equation it is 2. So you may multiply equation 1 by 2 and the second equation by 1 upon 3 but it is advised that first simplify. Try to eliminate the fractional part so that it reduces the chances of making mistakes. So let's go for that. Simplify equation 1. For the left hand side you need to take LCM. Some, sometimes you can multiply the uh, full equation by 3 as well but I would suggest for going for LCM. So how would you do here 3 denominator of 5 nothing is here is 1. So LCM of 3 and 1 is 3 here. You write here x as the denominator is 3 plus the denominator is 1 so it is multiplied by 3. x plus 3y is equal to 10 upon 3. Now whole denominator part can be cancelled here. See it is not permitted to cancel the denominators here because y's denominator here is 1. So you must observe the change that y is made 3y by taking LCM and now since this is a common denominator 3 here which can be cancelled. So we get a simplified equation x plus 3y is equal to 10. Now you can name it as equation 1. Likewise, take the other equation, 2x plus 1 upon 4y is equal to 11 upon 4. Here also taking the LCM, so 4 twos are 8x plus y whole upon 4 equals 11 upon 4. Cancelling 4, you get a simplified equation, 8x plus y is equal to 11. This is our equation number 2. Coefficient of x 1, 8, 3, 1. So either any one of them you can make it equal. For example, I will multiply. I will uh, make the coefficient of y the same. So here the coefficient is 3. Yeah, Here it is 1. So, I need not have to multiply equation 1 by 1. It will be as it is. But equation 2, I need to multiply by 3. So, multiplying this equation by 3, what do you get? 8 3s are, sorry, 8 x it is. 8 3s are 24 x plus 3y is equal to 33. You can name it as equation 3. Now, equation 1 and 3 we are going to work with. You can have equation 1 minus equation 3 or you can ha just have a look. 24x minus x. So, we can go this way it is in our hand we can just plan we can look at look at it very carefully and plan equation 3 minus equation 1 i hope you have understood why i have changed the sequence so what do i get here 24x plus 3y is equal to 33 below that you write x plus 3y is equal to 10. Since you are subtracting, so change the sign of the second equation. No sign, make it negative. Positive becomes negative. No sign, again it becomes negative. 24 minus x. 23x plus minus 3y gets cancelled. Is equal to 23. Therefore,
23 x is equal to 23 x is equal to 23 upon 23 that is 1 x is equal to 1 then again put x equal to 1 say in equation 1 what is equation x plus 3y equals 10 so 1 x is 1 plus 3y is 10 therefore 3y is equal to 10 minus 1 3y is equal to 9 y equals 9 upon 3 that is 3 and so your solution is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 that's all for today thank you